Today I am going to show you how easily you can generate barcodes from Claris FileMaker using no plugins, no external services, no web viewer and even no scripts just using calculations. Here in this example I have interface to generate various types of barcodes. I just select the barcode type, enter the data and click the button to have the barcode generated. I can also modify various parameters of the barcode such as background color, or the barcode color and even font for barcodes do, that contain text. I can also generate any custom barcode just by entering numbers representing width of individual bars and spaces. If I use barcode type that can contain text, I can encode things like web URL. Depending on what barcode type I select, I can also change various other parameters such as the unit width of the barcode or some special parameters such as for the data metrics I can select whether I want the barcode to be rectangular or square. When I open the app in the FileMaker Go and select the desired target barcode I can also simply scan the barcode with the camera and have it automatically converted to the barcode I selected. All the barcodes in this example are generated as vector graphics in the PDF format. So I can just save it to the PDF and resize it to any size I want without losing any quality. So let's take a look how I can add this functionality to my own database. All I need are the custom functions from this example. So I select all the custom functions except these three which are for the example itself copy them to clipboard and I'll paste them to my own database which I created from the starter solution for inventory management. Now I have all the custom functions here so I can go to layout mode and add my barcodes. I will add a new field name it let's say barcode image and make it a calculation. I'll select container as the calculation type and now I will use one of the custom functions for example coda bar to generate the barcode. I'll replace the parameters with, with the actual values for instance empty string for uh, transparent background and now I have the calculation ready and I can put the field on my layout. I'll resize it to the desired size, make it stretchable and I can check what it looks like in a browse mode. And here I have the barcode representing my item number. Let's add another one. This time uh, I will use a QR code uh, and I'll encode the location into it because QR code is more suitable for text data. So I have another field defined. I'll give it a name and can add it to the layout as well. I'll make it stretchable just like the first one and that's it. I can switch to browse mode and here I have my two barcodes. How do you like it?